Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to view the generated image from Stable Diffusion in a new tab. On the left, I have the automatic 1111 web UI and I'm trying to generate an image of ramen noodles here and we are all irritated when we have this small preview window and then you have to zoom in and click on it to see every time when an image is generated. But on right here, I have a large preview of the same image. So let's go ahead and generate a new image. Taking a second there. And yeah, you basically have a new image and it updates immediately here. Let's do something else, for example, maybe a giraffe. Now, how do, how do we do this? This is basically a quick and dirty hack and not, not the most refined method of doing it, but let's, let's go through it together. So first I need you to navigate to your stable diffusion web UI window, and then you wanna head into the modules folder. There you will find a file called images.py in which we need to modify the save image function. And I'll give all the details for the procedure in a git link below, so make sure you check that out. Once we hit this line, name gen equal to file generator, after that, we want to save our image to another temporary directory from which we will access it and try to display it. So in here, I'm saving it in a local folder that I know about. Here, I'm just saving it as current image.png and then I do image.save. Once again, all the details will be in the description in the git link below. So once we add this in, go ahead, restart your web UI. And now we'll see that along with the output in the outputs folder of stable diffusion web UI, you'll see another image getting generated called current image.png. But how do we view this or continue to view this as soon as it gets updated or refreshed? So for that, I have created another uh, HTML document, which basically just goes and tries to access that, sorry, uh, goes, to, goes and tries to access that image and then refreshes it. So here we can, let me go ahead and open it in code. This is just a simple HTML file that shows the image from that path and it keeps refreshing reasonably often. So let's go ahead and check it out once again, uh, see how it runs. I'll open this here, I'll open my HTML file here. I hit generate. And then yep, you have, a, you have a new image on this side. This can be really useful for everyone. Once again, the details will be in the description in the git link below. Make sure to follow and subscribe. Thank you.